June 3rd, 2023, we have Mr. Richard Martinez, City Mayor of Mendoza, setting an event here in the city of San Joaquin with Mr. Adam Schiff. Uh, we also have different community leaders and elected officials as well. Por favor, lo quería introducir. Esto está corriendo para el Senado, esta es la candidatura federal. Y este, aquí está el congresista Adam Schiff. Y por favor, deja darles una bienvenida a la ciudad de San Joaquín, por favor. Thank you uh, very much for taking the time to, to sit down with me. And I uh, want to start by introducing my wife, Eve. Uh, we, we, uh, we are uh, Adam and Eve. Uh, so you can, you can uh, let people know that Adam and Eve uh, started out uh, here in San Joaquin. Um, but it's a, a pleasure to sit down with you. And um, you know, I'll share with you, uh, if I can, how this came about. Um, the last time I was visiting, I met Humberto and his, and his father. Uh, and I want to thank uh, Roberto Sr. for uh, letting me know about a very different kind of water issue. Um, when I came to the Central Valley, I expected to, to talk with people about uh, water in the context of agriculture and the cities and the competition for water. But what I found most striking was uh, hearing about how many people can't drink their own water, uh, how it comes out of the tap, um, looking like, like coffee or like oil, uh, that the aquifers were so depleted that uh, chemicals were leaching into the water supply. And, and also to hear concerns about air quality and the number of young people growing up with asthma, uh, to learn about uh, hospitals uh, shutting down in places like Madeira, um, and challenges that, that folks are facing in the Central Valley. And, uh, and I told Alberto when I come back, I want to sit down, I want to talk about this water issue. And, uh, and that's how this came about. I'm, I'm grateful to you for bringing us together today. Thank you, Adam. And if I could just say a few words in a few words, when the last time he came to Fresno, he had a conversation with my father, Alberto, and he just said to me, please, if you can come and visit us to discuss it este el problema del agua, pero no solamente el acceso de agua para los rancheros, pero también agua potable para tomar para nuestros hijos, para nuestra salud. También está interesado en otros temas, también el ambiente, el aire, este también, y solamente está aquí, vino con su esposa a venir, como dice la Biblia, y también este, solamente aquí está para escucharlos, y aquí está presente en San Joaquín, y, este, y es todo. Ojalá que, pues, este, que solamente, yo sé que él no se va a olvidar de nosotros, pero esto va a estar He's a doctor, but he's a hell of a translator as well. Um, I, I, I really want to hear what you have to say about the challenges that, that are facing folks here. Um, but I do, want to, I do want to say a couple things. First, that, that I have some experience dealing with problems with the water. Uh, in my district, which is in, in Burbank, California, it used to be a hub of manufacturing. Um, uh, it used to be the, the, the site of Lockheed. And they used a lot of chemicals uh, in connection with manufacturing aircraft in, in Burbank. And those chemicals leached into the water supply and one chemical in particular called hexavalent chromium. And hexavalent chromium was believed to be a carcinogen, but nobody knew for sure. And so one of the first things I did was um, pass legislation to study whether hexavalent chromium causes cancer. Uh, and the result of that study came back and found that it was a powerful carcinogen. 